Embarking on a weight loss journey can be an exciting yet daunting endeavor, especially with the overwhelming amount of information available. We've all come across various tips and tricks that promise quick and easy weight loss. But how many of these are based on facts, and how many are just myths? To help clear the air, we've consulted with dietitians and delved into the scientific literature to debunk 11 of the most common weight loss myths. So let's embark on this enlightening journey together. Before we continue, if you appreciate all the information and the research that goes into making a video like this, it does help out tremendously if you hit the like button and hit subscribe. Thank you, and let's begin. Starting off, we have a popular belief. Carbs are the enemy. Many trendy diets promote the idea that cutting out carbohydrates is the key to weight loss. While it's true that low-carb diets can lead to short-term weight loss, it's not because carbs are inherently fattening. A study in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that it's the overall calorie intake and not the macronutrient composition that determines weight loss. So, rather than demonizing carbs, it's more about balance and the type of carbs you're consuming. Next up, eating late at night causes weight gain. This myth has persisted for ages, making many afraid of the midnight snack. However, research shows it's not the time you eat, but what and how much you eat that matters. A study in the International Journal of Obesity found no significant difference in weight loss between those who ate their largest meal at breakfast versus those who ate it at dinner. Another common misconception is that diet drinks are a healthy alternative for weight loss. While they might seem like a calorie-saving grace, several studies, including one from the Yale Journal of Biology and Medicine, have shown that artificial sweeteners can increase sugar cravings and appetite, potentially leading to higher calorie consumption later on. Moving on, we have the belief that fat makes you fat. It's easy to think that eating fat would directly translate to body fat. However, dietary fats are essential for numerous bodily functions. Research in the Journal of the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics has shown that diets rich in healthy fats, like avocados and olive oil, can be just as effective for weight loss as low-fat diets. Another myth that's gained traction is, detox teas and diets can jumpstart weight loss. While the idea of detoxing your body might sound appealing, there's minimal scientific evidence supporting the efficacy of detox teas and diets for sustainable weight loss. A review in the Journal of Human Nutrition and Dietetics found that while some people experience short-term weight loss from detox programs, these are primarily due to loss of water weight and not fat. On the topic of hydration, there's the myth that drinking water before meals reduces appetite. While staying hydrated is essential for overall health, its direct impact on appetite is debatable. A study in the European Journal of Nutrition did find that drinking water before meals could lead to reduced calorie intake, but the effect was modest and might vary from person to person. Another belief we often hear is, eating small, frequent meals boosts metabolism. The idea here is that eating often keeps the metabolic fire burning. However, Research from the British Journal of Nutrition found that meal frequency doesn't significantly affect metabolism or weight loss. It's more about total caloric intake throughout the day. One myth that's been around for ages is, starvation mode slows down weight loss. The theory is that when you eat too little, your body goes into starvation mode, slowing metabolism to conserve energy. While prolonged calorie restriction can decrease metabolic rate, the average dieter is unlikely to reach this extreme state. A study in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition indicated that significant metabolic slowdown only occurs under severe calorie restriction. The belief that weightlifting is not good for weight loss because it'll make you bulk up is another misconception. While weightlifting can increase muscle mass, it also boosts metabolism, helping burn more calories at rest. According to the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research, incorporating resistance training can enhance weight loss and prevent muscle loss. As we approach our top myth, we address the idea that all you need is willpower. Weight loss is often portrayed as a battle of wills. However, numerous factors, including genetics, environment, and hormonal regulation of appetite, play a role. A comprehensive review in the New England Journal of Medicine emphasized that over-reliance on willpower oversimplifies the complex nature of weight regulation. And now, the most misleading weight loss myth of all, Pills and supplements can help you lose weight without lifestyle changes. This is perhaps the most dangerous misconception. While some pills might offer modest weight loss benefits, they can come with side effects. 
The Journal of the American Medical Association highlighted that the best way to lose weight and maintain it is through a combination of diet, exercise, and behavioral changes. There's no magic pill that can replace the benefits of a healthy lifestyle. Weight loss is a complex and multifaceted topic, influenced by various factors including diet, physical activity, genetics, and lifestyle. Here are the top five facts about weight loss, each explained in detail. Caloric balance is key. The cornerstone of weight loss is maintaining a caloric deficit, where you consume fewer calories than your body expends. This fundamental principle dictates whether you lose or gain weight. When you consistently eat fewer calories than your body requires for maintenance, it draws from its energy stores, primarily fat, leading to weight loss. Diet quality matters. While calorie quantity is vital, the quality of the calories consumed also significantly impacts weight loss. Not all calories are created equal. Foods rich in nutrients like fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains offer satiety and nutrition on fewer calories, helping you control your appetite. A well-balanced diet comprising whole, unprocessed foods not only supports weight loss, but also ensures that you receive essential nutrients for overall health. Exercise enhances results. Regular physical activity complements a healthy diet in achieving weight loss goals. Exercise burns additional calories and can help maintain lean muscle mass, particularly when combined with strength training. Muscle tissue burns more calories at rest than fat, contributing to a higher resting metabolic rate. Metabolism is individualized. Metabolism varies from person to person and is influenced by factors such as age, genetics, and muscle mass. Some individuals naturally have faster metabolisms and burn calories more efficiently. However, metabolism can be modified through exercise and maintaining muscle mass, which can boost the number of calories burned at rest. Sustainability is key. While crash diets and extreme weight loss methods can yield rapid results, they are often unsustainable and frequently lead to weight regain. It's about developing healthy habits that you can maintain for the long term. Setting realistic goals and focusing on steady, consistent progress is more likely to result in successful, permanent weight loss without the negative physical and psychological effects associated with extreme approaches. In conclusion, while the journey to weight loss might be filled with misconceptions, armed with the right knowledge, you can make informed decisions. It's essential to approach weight loss holistically, considering all factors, rather than seeking shortcuts. Remember, it's not just about shedding pounds, but also about nurturing a healthier relationship with food in your body. Best of luck on your journey, and stay informed.